Hi, everybody. My name is Ethan Ostroff. I'm a personal injury lawyer right outside of the Philadelphia area. And I have been putting on this specific playlist on questions I get asked all the time because I find it so important, while not necessarily very sexy, to tell clients they need the best kind of auto insurance possible. It is so much better to be proactive than reactive when it comes to auto insurance. So I've put together this series where we have several videos going over every topic we could possibly think of related to your auto insurance. But before I dive into who pays for your deductible, make sure to click that subscribe button below. Make sure to follow us and join our community as we educate people as best as we can about legal issues that you face every day. So who pays for the deductible after a car crash? So let's just take a very basic example of when you are at fault and when you're not at fault. If you get rear-ended, the most simple example, and you are not at fault, let's say the other driver struck you, and you have $5,000 of damage to your car, and you have a $500 deductible, up front, you are going to likely get from your auto insurance, who you should submit that claim to, a check for $4,500, and they will say, this is the reasonable amount of what our mechanic said that your damage was worth, minus your deductible. At first, that is the check you will receive. Eventually, your insurance company and the other insurance company will fight it out in court as to who should pay for that damage. And when that is resolved, you might get a check for $500 for your deductible because you were not at fault. That happens most of the time in most states. Sometimes it's a little bit different state by state. In the scenario of, let's say that you are the one that rear-ended the other driver, you're likely not gonna get your property damage paid for, uh, specifically on your deductible. That's kind of why you have a deductible, is you pay for kind of what you get, and when you are at fault, that is something that you're likely gonna have to eat, that $500. That's kind of why the insurance company has it. So specifically, who pays for your deductible? If you're not at fault, you're going to get it back maybe a little later down the line, but if you are at fault, you're likely not going to get that deductible back. So if you have any questions, feel free to reach directly out to me. Candidly, my main area of the law is personal injury. I represent people who are hurt and not at fault. I do not work for insurance companies. I sue them, but I'm here for you. If you ever have any questions, make sure to click that subscribe button below. Follow us along as we try to help you guys understand the little bit less sexy areas of the law like auto insurance. Thanks so much.